Well, first of all, again, in 99.67% of the cases, the woman made a choice that could potentially- but What about those 0.4%? What do you think should happen then? Oh, I think the baby should be delivered, of course, because I'll give you an example. Let me just prove it to you. If I had two ultrasounds, and one of them was a baby conceived in rape, and one was a baby conceived in consensual sex. Well, of, of wh course. Which one is it? <laughs> they, they look the same. I, I do, I, I do but understand. But you can't tell because they're both human beings. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on some new videos. So you're going to check it out. Charlie Kick debates pro-choice woman. Okay, this is going to be amazing to watch. I'll love us checked out together. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out here and for like facing disagreements first, I guess. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, I had another question coming up here, but I really, I, the bait is there and I have to take it. Um, okay. <laughs> so I am also pro-choice and I was wondering how, um, like you, you said um, to the previous dude back there that um, the government in cases where human life is at risk should step in through any means necessary, be it through mandates, be it through bans, things like that, right? Again, that was a hypothetical answer. Let me clarify it. I think the we, government yeah. has a moral obligation to protect innocent life when confronted with the question of someone intervening, intervening to end that life. All right. So if a police officer standing idly by and he sees someone on the side of the street and someone is going by to about to kill them, the police officer being an agent of the government has a moral right to intervene. I'm sorry, I do have to take like a little bit of a caveat here. So the behavior of the police officers in the Uvalde shooting was disgusting. Oh, I totally agree. Do you believe? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but guess what? I'm consistent. The cowardice <laughs> that happened at Uvalde is the cowardice we allow to happen when there's a million abortions in our country every single year. All right, okay, okay. Which is standing idly by when children unspeakably get massacred. Uh, I don't know, I think there's a bit of a difference and the analogy that I usually use or the question that I usually ask pro-life people is, um, do you believe that the government should mandate organ donation even in cases of like, things like donating your kidney or right now we have a policy where even after death, if you know, you have like religious things where you have to- oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's not me. Um, you. No. <laughs> where you know your whole body has to be intact in order for like burial rights and things like that to happen we say that you shouldn't have to donate your organs but the pro-life case seems to extend to the idea that even people who are living should have to give up their kidneys to people in hospitals maybe who need kidneys well i don't quite see it that way um okay. but what I'll makes have... a uterus different well first of all Sorry. again in 99.67 percent of the cases the woman made a choice that could potentially- but what about those 0.4%? What do you think should happen then? Oh, I think the baby should be delivered, of course, because I'll give you an example. Let me just prove it to you. If I had two ultrasounds, and one of them was a baby conceived in rape, and one was a baby conceived in consensual sex- Well, of, of wh course. Which one is it? <laughs> they, they look the same. I, I do I, I do. But you can't tell because they're both human beings. Um, and in, in Western morality, of which I'm defending tonight, doing something wrong after something evil it's never the right thing. So do you think that government should mandate organ donations? No, and I think it's a false equivalency for, so. more, for more reasons than one, for a lot of different reasons. By, by the question of, do I think the, the government should come in and protect innocent life from being slaughtered? Of course I do, yes. And that, that's the answer. So, I mean, when it comes to mandating organ donations, I don't even see how that's applicable to the question. Because Thank you. in 99.6% of the cases, 6-7% of the cases, the mother made a choice to be able to get pregnant. Now, in the very small micron kind of case, then the case is that the, the, human, the human life and the human being needs to exist. So, they need to be, able to be able to exist. All right. I'm going to argue that different forms of birth control have um, like different forms of like effectiveness. And someone could, could be like potentially on birth control using those control methods and it fails, is that just a risk that like someone- Yeah, so I, I'm gonna say something. Th this, is, this is how far our morality has gone. We need to teach kids to save themselves for marriage. And a lot of these problems wouldn't be having. And if you do decide to engage in consensual marriage before, sex before marriage, and you get pregnant, that's the cost of the game. All right, okay. Thank you for being here, appreciate it. Hmm. Okay.
um, the latest point of the view is like the previous guy. I think there's a video I watched too from about a pro choicer. He was making absolutely the same sentence with this lady. So why in the world will she be comparing kidney donation? The government stepping in to make it mandatory for you to give your kidney out. So government stepping in for you not to abort a baby. Like why why is she comparing such thing? Like why are these pro choice are trying to confuse herself every single time? Why are you comparing kidney donation and an abortion? Like makes no sense. That is a wrong comparison to do. Uh number two, this entire video, um, I love how Charlie Kick this man to her and give her a pure reason. You you go to ultrasound of a baby who was raped and an ultrasound of someone who concepted to be the woman concepted to have sex. They are, the sound is actually the same thing. Why why is they living being in there? So um her, her debate, her her argument absolutely makes no sense because the baby is alive. The rate at which people are being raped is sometimes one point something percent than the people who concept willingly want to have sex with a, with a person. Raw. There is no bad control method. You didn't take any contraceptive. You just want to have sex and willingly. And now the result is a baby. And now you want to get rid of that baby. Hey. Guys, think about it. Like, if you had to be the one that they aborted, like, what would you be today? A million abortion in the US. A million, guys. That is a large number. A million is 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 it's not small. It's a large number, guys. A million people are a million children are bought it already. It's that's why the government is coming into this and making it mandatory for Texas and other um states in the US for abortion to be illegal. That is the reason why. Because hearing that such amount of numbers means the immorality in the US is extreme. The, people don't see marriage as anything again. People just want to have sex, and if they feel that they, the sex is good and stuff, they just want to live their life like that. And when the sex aspect results, the baby now they get rid of it and continue living. They they get pregnant again, they get rid of it. It's, it's think about it, guys. That is that's that's crazy, guys. If you if, if you ask me, it's crazy. Killing unborn babies, people who have not actually come to this life to see how the life is, just get rid of them because they didn't fit. They didn't fit your life right now. It's terrible. I've seen a lot of women regretted their action after they have aborted the baby. So it's it's bad to see people who are pro choices coming out to do, to debate Charlie Kick about abortion of its own. Like it's terrible. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Me and can subscribe to China. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all